Hi everyone, it's Deborah. I'm at my granddaughter's. I'm eating a banana. Uh, so let me fill you in about what's happened today. I got up at 3 a.m. and my body was saying, are you nuts? Go back to sleep. But I knew I had an hour drive to pick up my granddaughter to go and uh, be with my ex-husband while he was having a, uh, an operation. So, uh, we got to the hospital fine on time, and uh, I'm glad we were there because nobody was there for him. And let me tell you what, nothing is worse in this world than to know that you're getting ready to have an operation and you have no support at all. I, I know he had support, but nobody was there with him, and... Uh, I remember when I had my spinal fusion, uh, I had no one to take me home. This was during my divorce. I had no one. And I remember how lost and how abandoned I felt after I'd given so much of my life to others. So I had to be there for him. Excuse my makeup. I had to take a nap for about two hours and it and I don't even really care what I look like. I don't care. So I knew I had to be there for him. It was very painful for me to sit. Every time they came after him with needles and stuff, I just felt more pain because I got this needle phobia. You know, the operation doesn't scare me. Nothing else. It's just for those needles come after you. Uh, so they kept him at the hospital a lot longer than than uh, normal because his blood pressure went down really, really low. And I was watching that monitor and my granddaughter says I talk kind of loud, even though I thought I was whispering because I'm losing my hair. And, and I saw it go down to like the top number on his blood pressure was like 50. And I even did a screenshot of it. And I said to, uh, to Alana, I go, oh my God, his blood pressure falling fast and all of a sudden he turned white almost passed out uh beads of sweat was popping out all over his head the nurses came in and tilted his bed so that his head was lower they called the doctor and he gave him something that would raise his blood pressure i didn't know there were such things but it worked uh he felt so much better god bless him oh my god God, nothing is worse than nausea. I can't handle nausea. Uh, yeah, I can't believe I was curling my hair <laughs> at 3 a.m. So my granddaughter has kitty cats. So they've been like um, keeping me company in the bed. <laughs> this is besides the Dominican Republic. I never wear casual clothes, you know, but... I'm at the point, I think when you're in pain, you don't mind going out. Now, I would never wear pajamas out on the road, but whatever. So I told my granddaughter uh, I couldn't drive. So she had to drive her grandpa back to his house. And they didn't give him anything for pain. I could not believe that. But I did have a whole bottle of Tylenol, so I gave him my Tylenol. So then she drove me back to her house, and now her boyfriend is in the hospital. So that's where she's been at all evening. Now, she has only had maybe one hour sleep because she works till like 1130 at night. And then, you know, I had to pick her up about uh, 6 a.m. So she's going to be dead to the world. So that was my day. And... Oh, this is going to be funny. This is going to be real funny. Um, you know, when you don't have a boyfriend, sometimes you have to take matters into your own hands, right? So I wanted to try to relax myself. So I did take matters into my own hands last night. And during the big O, oh my God. I jerked my leg and I found out where that ligament tear is. I have now been in 
so much pain just from that. So it's embarrassing, but it, it's kind of funny. But yeah, I thought the MRI was just, I didn't think, oh, ligament pain? Where did I have this ligament tear at? Well, I found it last night and it's going right across my groin. I'm like, I don't think I'll be doing that anytime soon. Kind of look like, I look like a monster. 